Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can add shame for dimensions in the drafting workbench of Kitsia V5. So let me just open up a part file or an assembly file. So for in this uh, for this tutorial I'm going to open the body of the junction stop wall and then now uh, so so to create the chamfer dimension you need to you need to basically have a chamfer so in this we in this uh, particular part you don't you cannot find any uh, chamfer being created so let me just create a chamfer here so I'll take length 1 and length 2 uh, say 10 and a 20 so I'll click OK and let me invoke the drafting workbench now and create few views Let's say I'll create the front view and I'll insert the view. And now you need to create the chamfer dimension. So the sh chamfer is over here and the dimension is to be created over here. So there are two ways to invoke the chamfer dimension. One is to go to the insert dimensioning dimensions and you can find the chamfer dimension here. Or else you can find the chamfer dimensioning in the Dimensioning dimensions drop down, so you need to. So it's over here. So you can see here the chamfer dimension is already on, or else this is the chamfer, uh, the dimension it drop down, and you can find all different kind of uh, dimensioning techniques, which I'll be going through in my further videos. So for now you click on the chamfer dimensions. To create the chamfer dimension, choose the chamfer dimension tool from the dimensions drop down, the dimension toolbar, the tools palette toolbar will be displayed as you can see on the screen. So this is a tool palette which you can see over here and you have a couple of options over here that is a length and length, length and angle, angle and length and length and uh, two x uh, arrows which you can point on two sides. So let, let's see how all, uh, the, all these uh, options and how it works out. The options in this toolbar are used to define the form of the chamfer dimensions. The length into length radio button is used to create the chamfer dimensions using the chamfer lengths in the x and y directions. The length into angle radio button is used to create the chamfer dimension by de defining the length and the angle of the chamfer. The angle into length radio button is used to, by defining the length and angle of the chamfer. The angle into length uh, the radio button is used to create the chamfer by defining the angle first and the length. The length radio button is used to create the chamfer by defining the length of one of the sides of the chamfer. After selecting the form of chamfer from the tools palette, move the cursor to the chamfer edge. You'll notice that you can see that 213 or 312 digit swap. Uh, swap their position as you move the cursor to uh, upper or lower portion of the chamfer. When you move the cursor close to the upper portion of the chamfer edge, 213 is displayed. As you can see here, the 213. This implies that the chamfer edge will be selected first and the upper edge will be selected as the dimension of reference. The chamfer dimensions will be created with the reference to the upper edge. If you move the cursor close to the lower portion of the chamfer edge, then the 312 will be displayed as you can see over here. So I'm, I'm counting in difference from uh, to top to bottom. This implies that the chamfer edge will be displayed first and the edge close to the digit 2 will be selected as the dimensional reference. The resulting uh, chamfer dimension will be created with reference to that edge. So select the chamfer edge and move the cursor to an appropriate location. Click at a point on the uh, drawing sheet to place the chamfer dimension. So I'm going to click on 312 uh, that is I'm going to hover my mouse on the upper portion of the edge and I'm clicking and you can see here that is 20 by 10 so 20 is the count of the length from this particular point to this particular vertical so 10 is this particular vertical direction vertical length 
So why did you get the ten, uh, the twenty on top, or twenty on the first hand? So let's just uh, do it once again by uh, clicking on the bottom. That is three one two. You can see here ten into twenty. So if you are clicking on the lower portion, then from the low, the point which is nearer to the place where we clicked, the length will be selected, and then this particular horizontal length is going to be getting selected. So that's about uh, the you know length into length. So the same is the case with the length into angle. But you can see the angle is a little bit uh, strange over here. It's it's not. Uh, uh, it's because uh, we haven't given the exact angle or we have just given the length into length so it's better when you have uh, given the input in your part file as length into length it's better you work with the length into length so if you have given a length into angle in your uh, uh, part file it's better you uh, work with the length by angle or else uh, you have the angle in length and final that is the length that is the length which is this particular height over here if you had clicked on this particular portion then this particular uh, 20 would have come so I'm going to show you how that 20 appears so to avoid the confusion so let me just say I'm clicking on the length and I'm clicking on the top portion you can see the 20 is coming so that's about the this particular length and you can click on this and you can see that this is the length which is shown so that's all about uh, the creation of say uh, the creation of shame for a dimension in the uh, drafting workbench of KTW5 so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial video I hope this uh, video is gonna help you in your drafting uh, projects thank you so much for watching